just because you have Narcan does not mean that you are supporting people um, in their addiction. It means that you believe that you can help that one individual. Maybe it's one out of a thousand, um, but you're able to give somebody a second chance at life. And that is truly the perfect gift that you can give to anybody. And that's what Narcan offers. Every day we lose 115 Americans to an opioid overdose. That's one person every 12 and a half minutes. But we could start seeing fewer overdose deaths soon. For the first time in more than a decade, the U.S. Surgeon General is asking more people to start carrying naloxone. That's the drug that stops overdoses. Valley News Team's Veronica Marshall explains how this could affect our community. I believe in second chances. I've been given a second chance. You know, I've been addicted to opiates. Um, and look at where I'm at now. Jake Metcalf knows about the need in our community. He counsels people working through their addictions at Face It Together Fargo Moorhead. He says people here are dying due to a lack of Narcan, and for him, it's more than a job. It's also personal. It hits home. You know, a lot of people, I mean, the way that I started abusing opiates and getting addicted to them was as a result of many painful surgeries. Metcalf supports the U.S. Surgeon General's new advisory asking more people to carry Narcan. We're not saying that, you know, we're condoning this. We are saying that if we can save one out of a hundred people, that's excellent. If we can get one person well out of a hundred people, they're worth it and I'm living proof. Undoubtedly, Narcan has saved lives. We still use it on a consistent basis. I, I don't remember offhand, but I think it was uh, 60 or 70 some patients that we used Narcan on last year. Emergency responders agree. They say the extra help can save lives. The priority is to get that person breathing again. Narcan is one way that you can do it. So it's, it's a good, safe, effective drug to use for that. It's a real good thing to bring them back around quick. For Metcalf, it's a step in the right direction, one he's already taking, and maybe soon he won't be making it alone. I would like to see this continue to spread amongst our community, and I think it's very important and crucial. Um, I carry it with me no matter where I go. In Fargo, Veronica Marshall, Valley News Live. If you do administer Narcan, first responders say you still need to call 911. The Narcan may wear off before the drug does. Later on